Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now, today we're going to be talking about the new Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and how it is rumored that Deadpool could in fact be in this movie. So let's jump right into it. Alright, so people who have seen the poster say that there is a spot in the poster if you look really close, it looks like it is Deadpool. This is evidence that Deadpool is, in fact, in the movie. Now, whether or not you believe Deadpool is in the movie is kind of dependent on where you stand in terms of the evidence. A lot of people are saying this poster definitively shows him and therefore he's definitively in the movie. And that may very well be the case. But then you have the naysayers that say, no, there is no logical reason for him to be in this film and he would actually hinder the plot. The type of movie that Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool presents is the type of movie that may not chime well with the rest of Marvel, which is why Marvel has been keeping him separate. You know, they have said they're going to keep him separate. But there is always the possibility that he will cross over into other things. And Deadpool is a very fourth wall breaking character. So... Let's look at how he could potentially be in this movie and not break the movie. A lot of people are saying that if he's in this movie, it's got to be a blink and you miss it moment. So then why would they show it on the poster? Well, there is a reason that they might be prone to do this. And that reason is that they want it to be a secret without it being a secret. The idea that Deadpool would be in the movie and have a quick little couple seconds in the movie would show people where his character will ultimately end up. Maybe there's a scene where he comes in and he's dealing with the X-Men for a second. Um, I thought that maybe if he is in the movie, that what would be cool is while we're seeing all the little multiverse things going about and there's these little portals, if... Doctor Strange were to look into some of these portals, maybe he could see Deadpool doing some Deadpool stuff. Get an explanation for who Deadpool will be in the MCU. But is that enough? This is a very tricky little topic for this reason because... Because we know there's going to be variants of Doctor Strange. We know that Patrick Stewart's Xavier is in the movie. None of this is spoilers yet. So having some variants in the movie is what we're going to expect. Having some people from other multiverses come into the movie is what we're going to expect. And here's, here's something to think about. If they're going to bring us someone like Patrick Stewart into the movie, we know Patrick Stewart probably won't stay and play Xavier in the future. However, it's always been said that some of the previous incarnations of Marvel movies, heroes, and actors were the perfect fit. If you were running Marvel and you saw the opportunity to bring in a character 
like, say the guy who plays Magneto, you really like him. And pick, pick anybody who's ever played Magneto. You would be able to bring them in through this means and actually keep them in the MCU. And that's not a bad, that's not a bad scenario, but they could also use this to show you Michael Fassbender coming back as Magneto. Or Ian McKellen coming back as Magneto. And if the actors are willing to sign the contracts, they're in like Flynn. But the concept here would be to show you any actor that is going to be going forward in the MCU who's from a previous franchise as well. Sure, there's fan service and you'll get people who aren't going to appear in any other capacity. But the idea that, Dead, that Deadpool is in the movie could prove to be very interesting, saying that his multiverse, because we know that he is actually in the Patrick Stewart X-Men universe. So why not have him pop up, have him suddenly be a part of this universe? A quick scene, maybe a five-minute scene, maybe a three-minute scene, however long to make it impactful enough that we know he's there. He don't have to get a lot of laughs. He don't have to say a lot. And that's the beauty of it. Now, they asked Ryan Reynolds in a variety interview if he was in this movie. Now, this is what a lot of people are using as the argument to say he's not in the movie. But let me play devil's advocate. Let me just for a second play devil's advocate and say if he is in the movie, would Ryan Reynolds say he is? Number two, variety interview. This is for Variety Magazine, right? Why would any magazine be asking him a question like that a couple months ago? Because they don't just push out an, an issue in a week. It has to go to press and everything like that. Now, it's interesting because the Super Bowl commercial is the you know, this time, this particular time is when a poster is dropped, just in the last week. So if the poster is dropped basically around the Super Bowl, why would they be asking him about this in an interview that would have had to have been done prior to that, saying that it's rumored that he's in the movie, when the first we have heard that he could be in the movie was after the poster came out? And people started seeing the little Deadpool looking thing in the poster. So that actually lends more credence to me that he could potentially be in the movie after all. And that they could be going this route. Showing us the people that could potentially be going forward in the MCU. It might not just be him. Maybe there's some other people in the old universes that they want back. I.e. Quicksilver. We got a hint of um, Quicksilver in the MCU and he was killed. And that actor is going on to play Craven the Hunter in the MCU. As crazy as it sounds, could this be their way of bringing back actors that people found popular or bringing in actors we know are coming and showing us them being transferred into this dimension? Think about it. Evan Peters, Evan Peters, 
Quicksilver coming into the MCU officially because even as a even as a different character made to look like the Quicksilver from that universe, he was still relatively popular and people still liked him. Why wouldn't they bring him back in that capacity? Now, I'm not saying they will. I'm just saying they could. The same could be said about bringing Deadpool into this movie. The idea that we would see Deadpool come into this movie would show that he is now in this universe. And they wouldn't have to explain it later on. It could be a him dropping out of the sky. It could be anything. And that's kind of where I'm at on terms of this poster showing Deadpool. A lot of people are saying it's uh, weird that, that it shows him. And why would they show him if he's in the movie? They want to keep it a secret. I don't think they would. And then a lot of people are saying that... The, that the evidence points to Ryan Reynolds said he isn't in the movie. I don't believe that for a second. If Variety did an interview before that, then why would he have said that? Why would that have been an issue before the poster, before the rumor started? Just saying. Let me know what you think about that in the comments because I'd really like to hear from you. Do you think Deadpool is in the movie and do you think other Sony characters and other characters could show up just so that they can use them in the MCU going forward. And if so, also let me know in the comments if you think that this is true and if you have any characters you would like to see come back from other Marvel movies to become part of the MCU going forward. That's where we're going to end today's video. Now, go ahead and... Uh, Share this video with all of your friends so they get the same great content you're getting. And then go ahead and subscribe because Miko says we need more subscribers. And he's the real star of this channel. So you don't want to disappoint him. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Then... Leave us a comment because YouTube likes that. Make sure you're hitting that like button because YouTube really likes that. And we like it too. We want to hear from you. And at the end of the day, friends, the most important thing, be nice to each other because fandom is family.